हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो गाइज एज ऑफ नाउ वी आर कंटिन्यू विथ आवर लैंग सीरीज सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई शोड यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट द प्रॉम टेम्पलेट ओके एंड वट इज द यूज ऑफ प्रॉम टेम्पलेट आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन नाउ सी इफ आई वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस प्रॉम टेम्पलेट विथ माई लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल सो वट आई टू आई हेव टू कम्बाइन माई लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल एज वेल एज द प्रॉम टेम्पलेट आई हेव क्रिएटेड ओके फॉर दिस विल बी यूजिंग समथिंग कॉल चेंज यू कैन सी कम्बाइन एल एल एम्स एंड प्रॉम्प्ट इन अ मल्टी स्टेप वर्क फ्लोज ओके to create a multi step workflows i have to create a change now let me show you one example i think then this part would be clear let's say first of all i will initialize my large language model wrapper and here i'm using open ai model now see previously i think you remember we learned this prompt template that means if i want to let's say give any kinds of prompt but i don't need to uh, pass the entire prompt only i want to pass some specific let's say uh, point of that particular prompt you can see here only i want to change the product name so for this i created a prompt template and the product name i've given the colorful socks okay this is my entire prompt you can see now it will create my entire prompt so which is the good name for the company that makes colorful socks that means whatever input you are giving it will replace it here fine now as of now let me comment this line let's say this is the prompt i have created this is the entire prompt i have created i think you would remember now if i want to use this prompt the prompt template i have created with my large language model i have to use something called llm chain and how to import llm chain so from lang chain dot chains import llm chain now the first parameter you have to give the large language model the large language model you have defined which is nothing but open open uh, ai large language model you can also use open source large language model you can use hugging face large language model as well the way i showed you then you have to give the prompt template the second parameter is you can see prompt is equal to prompt that means the prompt template i have created this object actually i am passing here then just try to call this function chain dot run and inside that give the input let's say whatever input you used to give like that instead of giving you have to give chain dot run and give the input let's say colorful socks now if i execute see it will give me the output see rainbow traits or chroma socks i think okay chroma socks actually it is giving me the output that means now we are able to use our prompt template as well as the uh, let's say llm okay and for this we are using something called llm chain that means first of all it is creating the entire prompt template first of all it is creating the entire pro prompt template that means this entire prompt template if i show you that means it is first of all creating the entire prompt template and this prompt actually it is passing to the large language model and how things are happening with the help of llm chain okay that's why here i have written um uh, with multi step workflows that means it is creating a workflow in the back end it is creating a pipeline so first of all it will create the prompt then this prompt would be passed to the large language model and this things are handling by the llm chain i think you know what is chain na chain is chain means like one let's say chain would be connected with another one okay that means complete pipeline com complete workflow sequence of you can say chains okay so i think now you got it what chains ex exactly inside uh, lang chain now let me show you another example example 2 so again i'll initialize my large language model and see now here i'm using the second approach i think remember we can also create the prompt template like that so let's say here input variable is nothing but my cousin that means cousin will only change and rest of the prompt will remain same okay now this is my prompt template now if i want to pass this prompt template to my large language model what i will do i'll use the llm chain inside llm chain i'll first of all give the llm then i will pass my prompt template the prompt template i have created now you can see i'm calling chain dot run and here i'm giving the input let's say mexican i want to see the mexican now here you can see i have given mexican as an input that means i want to open a restaurant for the mexican food now if i execute so it should suggest me some fancy name for this see this is the name it has suggest me el soba de mexico okay the flavor of mexico now if you want to see internally how it is uh, like creating the entire prompt for this you can activate one parameter called verbose is equal to true now see if i again execute it will show you see internally first of all it will create the complete prompt template that means here you have given mexican so it will first of all create the complete prompt template with the help of mexican this prompt template will be passed to my large language model and large language model will give you the output got it so this is the work of chains now this is called actually single chains now let's see if i want to create a multiple chain that means let's say you want to create a chain and this chain output you want to again pass to another chain okay for this you can use something called multiple chain okay multi chain and to use the multi chain you have to use something called sequence a uh, simple sequence chain so there is another class inside lang chain chain called simple sequential chain we'll be using this one let me show you one example let's say this is my large language model i have defined and this is the prompt i have created the first prompt you can see the same prompt i want to open a restaurant for the uh, cuisine's food suggest me a fancy for uh, uh, name for this so it will take the cuisine input and this is the llm chain i have created okay i think you remember this is the llm chain i have created that means this is my llm wrapper and this is my prompt template okay now what i want whatever let's say 
restaurant name actually it will suggest okay whatever restaurant name this prompt will suggest that means this large language model will suggest this name again i want to pass to another prompt template for this i created another prompt template prompt template now input variable is restaurant name that means this prompt will give you the restaurant name yes or no because here you have given cuisine food suggest me a fancy name for this okay now it will give you restaurant name and this restaurant name i want to utilize and here i have written another prompt suggest me some menu item for this restaurant name that means let's say you have given indian indian let's say food now it will give you some indian restaurant name and this indian restaurant name here i will pass and it will give me some menu item for the indian restaurant name okay i think you got it how it is interconnected with each other this is called actually multiple chain okay now see here i have created another chain now if i you want to use this both chain i have to use something called simple sequential chain now there are some limitation inside simple sequ sequential chain i'll tell you what is the limitation as of now let me show you the let's say example so you can see i have initialized the simple sequential chain inside that chain is equal to first of all i will give my name chain you can see first of all i will give my na name chain that means it will give me the restaurant name okay then i will give my food item chain that means this particular chain that means whatever restaurant name i will be getting from this chain i want to pass to the next chain okay which is nothing but my suggest me some uh, menu items for the restaurant name okay now uh, here is the final code chain dot run here i have given the indian that means first of all it will go inside that and it will give the output and this output will go in the next next chain okay now it will give me the output let me show you now see i have given indian now see this is the indian menu i got that means what is happening first of all it is executing this prompt template then it is executing this prompt template okay and how it is handling it is handling by the simple sequential prompt template that means it is following the sequence first of all this sequence will execute then this sequence will execute that's how we can create, create multiple prompt not only two prompt you can create three four five six and so on if you need any kinds of let's say application uh this is like interconnected with let's say previous prompt okay you can create this kinds of sequential prompt now i think you got the idea how chat gpt works okay how chat gpt works let's say how uh let's say if I, if you are giving any kinds of input how it is connected with the previous prompt as well okay they are also using something called this sequential chain in the back end okay chain method they are also using i think it is clear now now the limitation of simple sequential chain is it is it is only showing you the last output last last chain output you can see only the menu item but if i want to also see the previous chain output what is the output it is giving for this you have to use something called sequential chain only okay sequen sequential chain not the simple sequential chain okay this is the difference only now let me show you one example let's say i have given the, uh, the same example so i want to open a restaurant who's in name okay here you have to pass and here creating the llm chain okay now this is the another chain i have created guys you can see so whatever let's say uh, restaurant name actually i will get from my first chain so you can see output key it will return you the restaurant name so it should be the input for the next chain which is nothing but my uh, menu okay menu of the restaurant name here you given the input is equal to restaurant name and this is the template suggest me the menu of the item for restaurant name and this is my second actually chain i have created and what it is the output of this chain the output would be menu item that means whatever menu actually it will suggest you now here i have initialized my sequential chain now inside sequential chain i have to pass my chain first of all i have to give my name chain that means the first chain i have created then i have to give the second chain now here you have to specify the input variable what is the input variable i think you saw the first input variable is nothing but cuisine okay cuisine should be my input variable and what with the output variable output variable would be the restaurant name as well as the menu item okay restaurant name as well as the menu item that means both it will show me now let me execute and let me show you see now i'll call my chain and here i'll give the input only which is nothing but indian that means cuisine name now see it will give you the output see first of all it will give you the cuisine then the restaurant name as well as the menu item that means this prompt it is giving you the output this prompt it is giving you the output even the menu item it is also giving you the output that means complete output you can see here so which is not available inside my simple sequential chain okay this is the difference only i think you got it right now got it so yes that's how actually we can use chain to interconnect my prompt template with my large language model and we can uh, easily get any kinds of response from my llm okay now in the next video we'll be learning about something called agents and tool inside uh, langchain with that guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time